And I, I look around, I'm, I'm, my heart bursts with joy with all the people I see. And uh, this, this is the moment that we have in this country to get things right. I just feel like that's the heart of Christ. I'm here for Christ's agenda. Um, that all maybe, you know, come to know Him and be saved and reach the lost and to um, shine the light on the darkness of this world. And unfortunately, racism is one of those things. I'm half black, so half of my family is, is it, they're affected by this every day. And something that I strongly value is making a change out here. Who got power? We got power! 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 This day shows that Dr. Martin Luther King, the dream that he had on August 28th, 1963, and it was not a nightmare. I believe that the dream he saw, he saw us standing right here on the steps of the Gulfport Police Station. I believe that he saw blacks and whites standing together. Over a week ago, I watched the video, and you, we all saw it, and we all know what we saw. And I was scared because I anticipated a lot of what's going around the country, but I was also hoping I knew what I knew about my own city and my own community. You validated it today. I will challenge all of you, quit looking for national leadership to get us through it. It's not there. The Democrats, the Republicans, they've all lost their mind. It is going to be up to us. If, if the events that occurred and if today does not start the conversation, nothing will. And my challenge to everybody is let's continue the conversation and we will move forward.